Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something nobody's talking about with this whole fasting deal, or it might just be me, but we'll find out in a second. And also, I wanted to show you my results. So come with me, and let's check these out. So today guys, I wanted to discuss something with you that not a lot of people discuss when they're fasting. And this is something I started noticing ever since like my fifth day, right babe? I started to get pretty pissed off at just about everything. You don't get immediately mad straight off the bat or how it happens to me at least is if I have my meal, I'll be super chill. I'll be super calm for like the next 12 hours at least. But when it gets close to like that three o'clock mark or like super close to my feeding window that I've been getting used to, which is from four to like six o'clock, somewhere around there, it varies a little bit sometimes, you know, traffic going here to there. But whenever it gets close to that time, like within four hours, I start to get grumpy and I get grumpy really, really fast. And a lot of, I know a lot of people might say, well, you haven't done this for a very long period of time. 14 days is a pretty good amount of time and I still haven't noticed a de like any decreasing change in that. Um, and that's something that has really starting to get to me. Not in a bad way, but it's something that I definitely have to consider a lot more. Lily, what the? So it's definitely something to consider if you're ha if you're somebody that's struggling with like anger management or something like that, even prior to starting this diet, um, just know that this might actually trigger some more of those harsher feelings on you. For me, I was actually super calm co coming off of the carnivore diet and eating a couple of times throughout the day, which is something to consider as well. I don't think that we're supposed to have food that readily available to us, or at least we didn't before. So this, I think, is a more natural reaction to our bodies. Now, it's nice that we have it. It's actually great, it's awesome. But I also understand where this kind of almost aggression comes from. My cat's been jumping into the frame and I just wanna... See, that's aggression right there for you. Y yeah, I can't get mad at it. Beefy. Really? But yeah, guys, if you guys are definitely struggling with a little bit of angst, getting a little mad or, you know, like losing your temper a lot more easily, know that it's actually, I guess, a normal thing. I've actually found this throughout multiple forums and it happens to a lot of people. I know some people might say that it might be like a nutrient deficiency or something like that, but I make sure that I get the right amount of food in me. I get the right foods. And so far I haven't been exercising at all so that should also tell you since I'm not moving that much the, the food that I'm getting the proper food that I am getting in should be more than enough This should be day 13 of this fast, this one meal a day um, kind of progression. Now it turned into one meal a day. So as I mentioned to you guys prior to this, I've been finding that I've been getting super, super grumpy. Um, not sure why that may be, but I think it has to do with my body trying to tell me that I am missing something. It could either be the fat content of my food, it could either be that I'm missing some kind of essential mineral or something of that sort. I've been looking up very common problems out of it that start to come up when you're fasting and being grumpy tends to be one of those things that does happen, but one way to solve it is to get a couple more electrolytes in you. Usually when we start fasting, we start sweating a lot or we start moving or we just don't get enough of the minerals that we would normally get. So I think I'm gonna start supplementing with sodium, magnesium, and potassium. I've gotten a couple of recipes, but the one that seems to keep on coming back is called snake juice. Um, it's by a very actually famous YouTuber slash infamous YouTuber. It looks like he is like the fasting master. He's helped out so many people with this fasting. He's done 72 hour fast, no problem. He's done 72 hour dry fast. 
Um, he's done a bunch, bunch, bunch more. He has some pretty gnarly transformations on his Instagram. So I'll leave his Instagram down there and I'll leave a card up here to his YouTube channel. That way you guys can check it out if you guys wanna see the guy in action. But be warned, the guy is pretty raw in everything he says. And by raw, I mean, ju just go see him and turn down the speakers if you have any kids around. It looks like adding potassium, sodium, and some magnesium to my diet is really gonna help this mood slash cognitive function deficit that's kind of starting to happen. I'm starting to get a little bit slow up here. So yeah, that's, that's kind of getting to me. Also, another thing I wanted to add, this week, the fat loss considerably started to decrease. Now I'm not cutting as much fat as I was at the beginning. At the beginning, the first week, it was 10 pounds, no problem went straight off might have been a lot of water weight but this week it's only been about half a pound a day or something like that i am happy that there is some fat loss still happening but i think i might do some drastic changes but let's first try out the electrolytes and let's see how that goes But that is it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Sage Experience. If you guys like this video, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Push that subscribe button and push that notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I come up with a video such as this. And do stick around, guys, for the next couple of weeks as, trust me, the transformation keeps on progressing quite a bit. But in any case, they out. Peace.